Hey guys, long awaited cup and arms back. <laughs> Thank I God. I, I actually, this bit's a good like hell now, although I do warn it's quite short. But it's like, short it's compared short. to what we normally put out. But. but it's very interesting. It very it's good. a really good part, and I'm happy to just have it back, yeah. so I'm cool with it. But like, let's just get into this, will we? Uncharted Garden Worlds, towards the Halo Stars. Magnus and his legion are restocking on food and water, readying for another outing into the Halo Stars to find the 20th Primarchs. While the fleet staff and menials gather supplies and goings on, Magnus and a few of his legion's newest order prepare. Are you sure Brother Regis is ready for the Anonite Codex, Father? The visions are hard on the mind. He hears his gene son's words and sighs. Regis has been properly vetted and was with and on for several cults being purged. He is strong. This will be our last chance to induct him into the Anonites safely for possibly years as we look for my brother. Then let him not be found wanting. The Primarchs and his four accompanying marines prepare the prefab warehouse being used for his ritual. Incense is burned, wards raised, and the bindings for Regis set. Magnus gently tapped the book chained to his armour. The Anonite Codex, the tomb the Primarch himself sealed the vision of the dark future Anon saw. The future the Anonites themselves have been founded to stop at all costs. These four were the only current members. Magnus had them removed from all other Legion rankings, to the shock of many of his sons. Thadok, bring him in. Said Marine bangs on one of the side doors twice. Regis enters the main room, wearing only linen robes. He walks to the restraints and kneels. Sire, I am ready. Magnus nods, and wordlessly Regis is stripped by his brothers and anointed in oils and handed a mouth guard. Regis is then secured in the bindings. Magnus then steps forward as he prepares the codex. As the text opens, the temperature plummets. The air feels unnaturally heavy. Regis, you will have your eyes open to the truth of what my father fights. You will soon understand the approaching darkness and know the great burden his cupbearer carries. In unison, the four brothers stomp their boots twice and shout, We are the shield that guards the realms of men. Oh, for fuck's sake, oh man. <laughs> Copy like them. <laughs> Stay strong, Regis. Magnus then places the codex above the restrained marine. It hovers in place above his head. Regis lets loose a crazed scream. Regis had been honoured to be offered a special post at his gene sire's side. He thought he had an idea of what to expect, as he had been by the cupbearer's side and seen the dangers of the warp. He had heard the lessons Lord Anon had given about its nature. Regis had been so wrong. He saw the heresy. The master of mankind made a living corpse. The rampaging Xenos and vile crusades from the Eye of Terror watched in horror as the swarm came from all sides. He screamed until he could no longer do so. His brothers had to force him to swallow his own blood lest he choke on it. Rest, my son. Recenter your mind and soul. Then we will finish. His Primarch's words hit him like a hammer blow. There's more? Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> We got human biddies, we got lizard biddies, we got orc biddies, oni biddies, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below, it helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video, let's get on the story. Elsewhere, aboard the Imperial Blast Cruiser, Light of Reason, currently orbiting the resisting civilised world of Krath Primus, by what right do you think countermanded my orders, Acolyte? Scribe Jessen currently stood before Admiral Jackus Okana, commanding officer of the fleet. By the contingencies put in place by Lord Anon, my lord. Jessen tries to keep his cool, but subconsciously fiddles with his patch bearing the stylized cupbearer's icon. Jessen had been one of many scribes attached to fleets to keep an eye out. He didn't understand exactly what for, but he had a list of things to report and how to act. He had been assured that he would be backed if needed. Jessen's team had confirmed sightings of strange symbols in Resistance Temple's planet side. His orders in such a case called for limiting Imperial casualties and calling on the aid of the nearest Legion. The Admiral screamed at the scribe. What could His Majesty's cupbearer possibly have planned that caused you to bypass my office and call a hold on the offensive? This could set us back weeks. 
we may now have to hit the world from orbit and lose out of the local factorums. Again, my lord, I'm sorry. My training was clear. Protocols have been set into motion. We are to wait for the second legion to respond. That could take weeks. What could possibly warrant such a delay? A message runner hands a missive to the clearly fuming admiral. The lord takes a deep breath and reads it. He freezes. The second legion has responded. The Primarch is leaving the interrogation of Hecus to army officers and is coming to relieve me of the command to personally deal with Krath Primus. The deck is silent for a moment. Just what are we dealing with, Acolyte? Something beyond my pay grade, my lord. Fulgrim looked out the window of his ship down at Krath Primus. It was as he feared. The world's leaders were cultists of the so-called Blood God. He resisted the urge to spit. Some poor menial would have to don chemical gear to clean it up, and then have to repair the floor of the deck. Anon's plans to limit the blood cult's access to heavy fighting had worked. The resistance elite troops had fallen to a crazed state and were like rabid animals, just as dangerous to their own. Reports had confirmed the field attempt to summon demons, though a few regiments had to be detained afterwards. He resisted the urge to order this world glassed. Fulgrim had a burning hatred of chaos, but this world could very well still be cleansed and have its resources benefit the Imperium. No, just fucking, no, just burn it. Even if it had to be resettled, with the summonings denied, the purge could truly begin. Several cities had rallied to the support of the Imperials and would be spared, after being confirmed clean of taint and relocated elsewhere. The rest would be offered no quarter. Fulgrim silently watched the world below, waiting as the assault was prepared. The fighting had been brutal, but clean, so to speak. The capital was purged, artifacts destroyed, and shrines torched. He and his guards were stopping at a camp for those locals awaiting relocating. As he walked the camp to personally speak to the same locals and offer protection and assurances to everyone that complied, as he healed his transport, he saw it in the edge of his vision. A major he had served with for years now, killed a detainee that was asking for a different bunk. He was wielding a bizarre red axe. Change of plans. Lock this camp down. Order the soldiers to disarm or be fired upon. Protect the detainees. Upon the ally of justice, Colonel Razit suite, Razit sat at the table with several of his officers. The ones not too hungover to attend anyway. The pussies. Two of the higher ranking maids stood at the wall. Operation Nightcap was a failure, clearly. I had to bribe the Magos testing the spiked liquor. Luckily, Anon brought it. The others only grunt. So, any idea what went wrong? Razat looks each of person in the eye. One of the maids even rolls her eyes back at him. Are we sure he isn't a monk? One asked. Yeah, he honestly pulled a sword on the maids that volunteered to swarm him. This is getting out of hand. And how did Jack manage to spike every drink? How did he fuck that up? Remember to have Jack assign menial duties for the foreseeable future. Bastard cost him a shit ton of booze. Settle down, men. The Emperor has tasked us with getting Anon to finally relax. Poor lad already has the weight of the galaxy in his head. The boys grumble more. Razitz knocks on the table to get their attention. Any other ideas? We're the finest mortal soldiers the Imperium can call upon. Surely we can handle this. Face it, sir. He might be a lost cause. Hold your tongue. We're the solar ox. We don't admit defeat. Quiet down, yells them down. Many of the boys were starting to take this as a personal challenge. He gestures for someone to speak an idea. We could try other ways to get him to relax. One of the others throw his shoe at the speaker to shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> Razit gave up in the meeting as it became a brawl. Fuck it. I'm not saying frack. I know, it's too I'm gay. I'm not saying frack. Fuck it. He could offer to help Anon with his paperwork. It was better than dealing with these crazies for a while. Maybe he could sneak a drink too. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. As we did say, it is kind of short. However, it is just nice to see that Cop is back. He is writing it again. And he is writing it, and it's really good. And we but he hasn't wrote anything after this, so I know, he, we he, need to he, wait on bated breath for the next part. I, th- I think you'll put out another part within the next week or so. Hopefully. Um, the way you left it, you wrote more in the comments, and oh yeah, I'll, I'll do more in the morning. 
He never no, came back. No, he never came back. <laughs> Sadly. But, look, I'm just happy that we got this. But, look, what do you, you guys... You know, as soon as he posts, we'll have it up within, like, the day after. Oh, yeah. We'll have it up as soon as. Yeah. I, I, I really, I'm really enjoying this. And it's really starting to get into this. What do you guys think what's going to happen next? Now, I'm going to say right now, what Magnus is, seems to be up to is not fucking a good idea. No. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not one of those people like, oh, yeah, Magnus did nothing wrong. It's like, well... I just we, think we, it <laughs> seems like a horrible fucking idea. It, it does, it does. I just don't... It seems like something's going to go absolutely terrible from that. Like, there's just something bad. Like, when it comes to 40k and when it comes to psychic powers, let's be serious, guys, it always ends poorly. Yeah. Like, a good 99% of the time, it ends poorly. But I'm really excited just to have it back. And this little tidbit that we've got, I think I think it was pretty good, and I was happy Quench, with it. Quenches your thirst, because you've been without it for so long. <laughs> I know. It's, it's been at least about well, maybe a month now. Yeah, and if you forget what happened before there's um what do you call them playlists the playlist, yeah. down below we we'll link the below. playlist down below so you can go back and you can watch it all so you're all caught up for the next part yeah which i'm sure that i i don't think because he does seem to be very sporadic like the last time he did we caught up to him and then he did like two or three threads like, within the space of like a week and a half yeah so hopefully hopefully i think i might go back myself and watch the because it the has been a while, because I, 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 I can't really remember what happened at the start now. It's been that long. Yes, but as always, check out the links. Check Go. out the models. We're going yep. to be getting some not 40k models. Ooh! <laughs> not free, like, they're not 40k models, guys, but <laughs> they look mysterious they, they could be excellent proxies let's just say but, uh, but yeah go check out the links check the models hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post also, if you want to hit that in uh, case there's another in case one there's of another these. one also also it does help us out a lot if you share this story with your friends oh, yeah because you know a lot of you guys like you know that watch this are very dedicated towards this story mm -hmm. and you don't really see that a lot with a lot of the other videos that we put out a lot of the other videos we put out like you know one hit sort of yeah. it's just a, a standalone whereas these big longer stories don't really get as many they don't they don't attract the same type of audience but if you're really enjoying this and you know friends that would also so, enjoy it give check, it a share yeah it helps it really does help us out a lot today. and also it helps the author out because like you know let's be serious he does have a really couple story going yeah he does so like anyway look guys that's all i want to talk about we'll see you guys later bye